Hey up everyone and welcome back to another video and in this one I'm going to be showing you how I did this leafy foliage to assist you in doing drawings that have some background included. So as you can see there's some already done on left here and I'm just going to make a start on this that's in middle and over on right and you can see that all I'm doing is using a black charcoal pencil to just add in some general shapes of leaves and things like that and just little marks. It's all quite messy looking. Notice how I'm holding pencil and holding it a little bit further towards other end from where nib is. Just helps you to work a little bit more freely rather than clasping your fingertips and your thumb like really close to nib like when you're doing like painstaking detailed work. So if you just hold it a little bit further down, I'm holding it about halfway down because it's in a pencil extender at minute. So I'm holding it about halfway down because I don't need to be overly free for this. It does work a lot better than trying to hold pencil near nib when you're doing this kind of work. So when these messy leaf shapes and squiggles have been applied, I then come back in with a blending stump and I just start blending it all out a little bit. I'm careful to leave some of the actual paper showing through so that will be doing some at work for me. When you look at the foliage a little bit further back behind dogs I keep that a little bit more vague looking, not so many defined leaf shapes and just some squiggles and make everything a little bit smaller as well because everything will get smaller and less detailed the more it moves further away from the viewer. As per usual, all these supplies are listed in the description below the video. So you can go and have a quick look at them if you want to know what it is that I'm using. Once I've finished doing all that blending, I just come back in with the black charcoal pencil again and just add some more darks. Blending always just lightens your, your blacks a little bit because you're blending it out so I just come back in and just push them darks a bit again just defining edges at leaves and also adding some blacks in little spaces and what have you between leaves and clumps of leaves this will just help to add some depth to the actual foliage and the the floor that the dogs are actually standing on there will be varying levels of depth between the leaves and the actual ground the idea is to learn how to keep it really random because when things are growing they do grow in a, a really random way and, and to not allow sort of sensible patterns to form, you know, like um, too much symmetry and rows and, and, and that sort of thing. Humans can have a little bit of tendency towards order so when you're wanting to depict nature you've got to learn how to be a lot more random the way that nature tends to be and it's that randomness that makes nature so attractive as well. So you'll notice I'm just back in with a blending stump just to soften the latest blacks that I've applied. When working in charcoal I do try to be a little bit more loose than when I'm working in acrylic so all this is quite fast work compared to the painstaking work that I do in acrylic. I'm also using the reference photo as just a, a very general reference. I'm not keeping all the leaves exactly the same as what they are in reference photo and just letting myself play around and be a little bit more free. I think it does help when you're working in this style to do that. And it also helps where you get like accidental textures and what have you occurring which sort of add to the actual overall effect and you can sort of utilise that to get the effect you want. It's, it sort of like starts drawing itself so to speak. So last off I come in with a white charcoal pencil and then I'm just going to start adding some details and shapes using the white charcoal pencil. You'll see that the dogs are actually wet and the foliage and the leaves and all that were wet as well so there's light reflecting on them because some of them had quite a shiny surface. And I'm just going to add shapes of leaves and the text, bit of texture on the leaves, not too detailed, everything's just going to be more loose and then also little twigs and branches and what have you hiding underneath and in between and other little bits and bobs. Don't have to be out that looks like anything specific because that's the nature of like a, a forest floor for example, you just get all these little tiny shapes and what have you, where you, you might not be able to make out exactly what they are. 
Just be sure to remember things like allowing some of the paper to continue showing through, not completely covering your black spaces between your leaves. If you want to put any little details in there, keep them a little bit more vague because it will be darker in these little spaces. And also remember not all the leaves will be fully visible because you'll get leaves growing on top of other leaves. So you'll have leaves overlapping other leaves and some leaves will be fully visible and all that kind of thing. So I'm just adding some final touches now, just pushing some blacks again and I'll come back in with white again and I'll just uh, add some final little details to finish it off. I just thought I'd post this today because... I think it's something that gets neglected and when people are doing pet portraits they focus on the actual pets and they never think about learning to do backgrounds and I think a lot of people do struggle with doing backgrounds. I see it a lot being asked in groups and what have you where people are, you don't have the confidence to do it so I thought that I would just post this for that reason basically. And I will be uploading it to Patreon in real time where I did actually talk my way through it as I were drawing it so... It will be going on there as well when I finally get round to launching it. I did also record one of the dogs being drawn so that um, I could do a lesson on how to draw a wet looking dog. So if you're interested in seeing that then let me know and I'll post that as well. It'll also be going on Patreon in real time. I have been really busy with Christmas commissions up to the press so I've not had much chance to do videos but because I'd already recorded these a few months ago I thought it would be easy to just whack them together quick and just stick a video up for you. So here it is all done and I hope you've enjoyed it and this is going to do it now for this video so I'll see you in my next one and thanks for watching. Bye!